Bosnian cuisine is balanced between Western and Eastern influences. Bosnian food is closely related to Turkish, Mediterranean and other Balkan cuisines, along with some Central European influence. Many of the traditional dishes have been made from the same recipes for hundreds of years. An abundance of spices is not used and most flavor comes from the natural sources of the food. Now that you know the whole history of the Bosnian cuisine, here's one of the best Bosnian restaurants in the US of A. It's just falling off the bone. This is a uh, this is really good lab meat. While being featured on an episode of Guy Fieri's Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives should give you an example of how awesome this place is, I decided to be the judge of this home-style traditional Bosnian food restaurant and see for myself if this food was worth the praise. And who better to be the judge of Bosnian food than a Bosnian, a hungry Bosnian. So I jumped into my car and crossed the dangerous deserts of Arizona to find Chef Alisa's restaurant located in Tucson, Arizona. A year ago, if somebody told me that I would find some of the best Bosnian food outside of Bosnia in the deserts of Arizona, I wouldn't believe them. But here we are, so get ready to get hungry. All right, after two hours of driving, we are here in Tucson in front of Chef Alisa's restaurant. You ready to eat? I was here two times, so the following footage will reflect both visits. Then it is you like to the fish. Yeah, be kafu. Kafu da bravo. 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 school. Bosnian coffee derives from its Turkish origins but differs slightly. A deviation from the Turkish preparation is that when the water reaches its boiling point, a small amount is saved aside for later, usually in a coffee cup. Then the coffee is added to the pot with the remaining water. Everything is put back on the heat source to reach its boiling point again, which only takes a couple of seconds. Coffee drinking in Bosnia is a traditional daily custom and plays an important role during social gatherings. Fala. Mm -hmm. So in front of me we have some uh, Turkish style Bosnian coffee right here. And I'm lucky because there's nobody here so I get to be weird and record myself while drinking this. Check it out. You gotta put the cube of sugar inside. I like a mild, I don't like it too sweet so just one is gonna do for me. So this is like an orange, orange soda basically. It's like Fanta, almost. So we got a little salad, some homemade Bosnian bread straight from out of the grill. And just homemade bread. I'm excited for that lamb. Lamb is one of my favorite meats of all time in my life. I love lamb and I love Bosnian lamb. This lamb, this lamb shank is not, um, is not roasted on an open fire like it usually is. The Tucson code actually doesn't allow them to roast that meat outside. So they actually have an oven and they roast it in the oven. So we'll see how good it is. A very chill atmosphere. I don't wanna to talk too loud. Lamb is a popular delicacy in Bosnia and is usually roasted on an open fire, AKA lamb on a spit. The lamb here though was baked inside in an oven but still the meat flies off the bone and is very delicious. It's served with homemade egg noodles, a cabbage salad and fresh home baked bread. So this is the Bosnian style lamb, one of the best meats that you will eat in your life you gotta eat it hot. Right here we have some uh, ivat which are mashed red peppers and I think there's some eggplant inside as well. And it has a little different take on it because we got some spaghetti with it, which is a little different. Um, so this part is a little more Americanized. Chavapi is a grilled dish of minced meat found traditionally in the countries of Southeast Europe, AKA the Balkans. Chavapi has its origins in the Balkans during the Ottoman period and represents a regional specialty similar to the Kofti kebab. They are usually served in groups of 5 to 10 pieces on a plate or in a flatbread called a lepina or a somun, often with chopped onions, sour cream aka kaimak, 
feta cheese, Ivar, aka minced red pepper and salt. Bosnian chevapi are made from two types of minced beef meat, hand mixed and formed with a funnel, then grilled. So while we're sitting here and eating my amazing lamb, um, the owner just brought out the most famous food of Bosnia, what Bosnian cuisine is known for, and that is the chevap, the chevap. So it's right here. So all of this is homemade, these chevap right here, or these little small sausages. This is all homemade here, along with the homemade ivad which is red pepper, some garlic inside, and some eggplant. But this right here is what's the most popular food in Bosnia. So this is a uh, homemade bread with an opening inside. Uh, they cut it and then they put these so sausages, which is ground meat. This is like ground beef. Just the way it smells, this is just amazing. Oh my god. I always eat this, so that's why I got, I want to do something differently. But this right here is, you can never go wrong. This is probably one of my top favorite foods, top 10 favorite foods in the world. Right here. I think it's always gonna be. I have so much food in front of me, I don't even know what to eat anymore. Sarma is a dish of either wine, cabbage, monks, rhubarb, kale or chard leaves, roll around a filling of grains like bulgur or rice, minced meat or both. It is found in the cuisines of the former Ottoman Empire from the Middle East to Southeastern Europe. I surrender. The Bosnian style goulash served as Chef Alisa's features beautifully marinated beef served with a special traditional sauce, white butter rice and everyone's favorite staple, the homemade bread and cabbage salad. I surrender. One of the most popular desserts of Bosnia is also served here, the baklava. Baklava is a rich, sweet dessert pastry made of layers of phyllo filled with chopped nuts and sweetened and held together with syrup, frosting or honey. It is characteristic of the cuisines of the Egypt, Levant and the broader Middle East with South Caucasus, Balkans, the Maghreb and Central Asia. I will not be able to walk after this for a while. So in the closing statements, Chef Elise's restaurant has delicious Bosnian food and it's awaiting your visit if you're in the area. For me, until I taste anything better, this will be the best Bosnian food in the US of A. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to stay tuned to our future videos as we release new content and adventures on a weekly basis. Just a heads up though, the restaurant does close at around 1.30 and then it reopens at 5.30 for dinner. They're very, very packed, very busy for dinner uh, during the day and especially not because of COVID times. There's about two, three tables right here, right now. Um, they, don't have a, they don't have a big lunch menu, so it's either they're open a little bit in the morning, uh, they open at 10.30, they close at 1.30 and then they open at 5.30 for dinner. So dinner is their uh, most popular dishes. But that's also a Bosnian thing because there's not really a big breakfast menu in Bosnia because most of the food that you will eat in the morning in Bosnia, you, you will eat the same food for lunch or for dinner. So Bosnia doesn't really have a big breakfast menu.